This is the ultimate delta guide. So let's start off by opening the app store. You're then going to select search and you're going to search up for delta emulator. You should see the delta game emulator tap to install. Delta did not release in the European Union. Once we open Delta, it's asking us to add our own games and for Nintendo DS, it wants us to add our own BIOS files. To get these files, the official way is to dump the game ROM file from your cartridge using a dumper or dumping the BIOS from your Nintendo DS. This is compliant with the law, but the unofficial way is to download these files from the internet. As a strong follower of the YouTube community guidelines, do not post any download links for the DS BIOS or ROMs in my comment section. Do not like any comments with download links as that will make them more visible to others. And comply with the law, make sure you use the official way. When dumping your files, make sure you physically open Safari browser, nothing else. The exact location of your saved games or BIOS will be inside of the files app. You have this browse button and it's either on my iPhone downloads or iCloud drive downloads. Once we've got our BIOS files fully legal, just tap on your settings and scroll down until you see the core settings Nintendo DS and under the DS BIOS files just tap on each file individually and locate the appropriate file name and when you tap it you should see the tick that means you're good to go if you don't see the tick then your BIOS file is corrupted and you need to use another one so I've imported all of my BIOS files now DS games will play. Delta supports the following platforms on screen and to import your games, just tap on the plus and then locate files. From here, your game files need to either be in .zip or the file of the ROM, which could be .nds, .gba, etc. If we tap on open, we should see the game. You may need to swipe across if you don't see the game, then your ROM file was not dumped correctly, so just try again. If everything is good, the game will load up successfully. Many want to know about cheats and online play. Online play is not available in Delta, which means you can't play online with two phones, you can't trade Pokemon. But cheats can be used to add your own Pokemon, cheats can be used in other games as well. So in order to use cheats, we need to do the following. You're going to search in Google the game you want the cheats for, and then just put cheats at the end. And once we search, we should see these codes. So any website, just tap on it. And these are cheat codes. So if we scroll down, many games will have a master code or main code and I'll cover this in a second. But then we have these other cheats. You can see unlimited lives, points, all of this stuff. So to add a cheat for Pokemon, this could be adding a Pokemon in the random grass. Just long press and copy the master code if it exists or the main code. Then we're gonna load our game and I will blur the game because Nintendo loves to take down emulator tutorials if you show their games. So just tap on menu and then locate cheats codes. Under cheats, just tap on the plus and under cheat name, we're gonna name this the game and then title this main cheats. Under type, select game shark and then under code, just paste that code in. For different platforms, you may need to use other types of cheats, but the website should specify it. So let's tap on save and make sure you tap the tick so the cheat is on. Then we'll tap on plus again and we will add the secondary cheat. So 
I want to have always frog Mario. So we'll just copy this one and then paste this code. Do warning, only turn on the main cheat and other cheats from one site. If you want to use more cheats from different sites, turn off these cheats first. So now let's load the game. The cheat was always Frog Mario, but it didn't work. So let's try another one. I've put in unlimited live stream. As that still doesn't work, we need to try another website. This website mentions action replay codes. So when we select the main cheat, we're going to use action replay instead of game shark. Try this again. And now let's have a look. You saw there the lives went up to 100. So those codes are working. It may take a while to just find the codes that you need for the cheats. While the sound in my game is working flawlessly, you may have a no sound problem. So first tap menu, main menu, and then we're going to go to the settings. First of all, turn off respect silent mode and make sure your sound is on. If that works, great. If it doesn't, go in your multitasking and close out of any music apps as if your music is in the background or a YouTube video in the background, the audio will not play. Close out and reopen Delta, then try again. Currently, we have this Delta skin where we can actually customize the look of our on-screen controls. So if you go on Google and search for Delta skins, we have these websites which offer these custom skins. So select the platform, in my case, Game Boy Advance, and we can take a look at the skins. I want this Nintendo Switch style skin. So select the skin and just tap the download to download the skin. When you download, make sure you are in the Safari browser and not inside of another app like Twitter. So once your skin is downloaded, open back up Delta, Locate your settings where you see controller skins. Tap on the skin for your platform and then under portrait, just tap on this one, tap plus, and then locate your skin. The skins can be in browse, iCloud Drive downloads, or browse on my iPhone downloads. Tap the skin and then open, and we can see. The skin has been added. Tap the skin to select it as your main. You may have noticed there is no landscape skin here. So if we go back to this website, just find one which shows portrait and also the landscape. And if you tap it, you can see that if you tap the download now, you can apply it on your landscape as well. We can now see our custom skin. They may move the delta or menu button into a different location, so be aware of that. You can play delta with a controller. So if you go to your settings and locate your Bluetooth settings, while on the screen and Bluetooth is on, place your controller in pairing mode. So PlayStation, hold PlayStation and the share button. On Xbox, there is a share button where my left index finger is that down and when we see this rapid blinking here this type of blinking will appear on all controllers just tap the controller in your Bluetooth and then it should connect for any help you search how to connect your controller type to iPhone and it will show up now when we resume we can click the buttons you can see here I can move left right using the controller really cool Tap the PlayStation or Xbox button if you need to access the Delta menu. Under Delta settings, if you tap your player, you can customize the controls if it's for the controller. So you can select your platform like this, and then just tap the button, and then press the button on your controller, and that will be the registered action. You can reset or save. In the Delta settings, there is also Delta Sync. This allows your save states and your game saves to be synced across multiple devices. So if you want to play on iPhone and iPad, you can pick up where you left off. 
So if you tap this to turn it on, select the service and sign in. Make sure that the Google Drive or Dropbox account you have has enough storage, otherwise you won't be able to sync your game saves. This sync will not sync your games, so you will have to import them manually for each device. That's it. I hope this helps.